Let's find out how to get a location quotient using the American Fact Finder. So I've put Google up here. I've clicked on Google and, and typed in American Fact Finder. And that brings me to this first choice, which is this one. So I'm going to click on, on this first choice, if you can see that. And then from there, I'm going to go to Advanced Search. The PowerPoint gives you the link to get you to this spot right here, which is Advanced Search Show Me All. So here we are. And then in this left column over here, you'll see Geographies. So I'm going to click on Geographies. I'm going to select in this case I'm going to do a metropolitan area that's different than what I did in the PowerPoint so I'm going to click on Metropolitan Statistical Area or MSA and from there I'm going to click on let's find a good one here something kind of big to make sure we get data the bigger your geography the better your data is going to or data accessibility is going to be often so let me find one there's a lot of them 330 so let's go to Charleston, North Charleston, South Carolina. Who doesn't want to live in Charleston? So I'm going to add that to my selection. And then it's loading. And then it's going to put it in this box up here once I do that. And then I also want to click, go to the very top and click the United States. And I want to click that one and add that to my selection. And now I should have my geography and the United States up there. All right, so now we've picked geography. We've got those two. So now we need the industry data. So I'm going to click on industry codes, and I'm going to click all available codes, and I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to close this, and from there I'm going to click the very first one, which is this county business patterns. This is a great site. Uh, so I'm going to view that. Once I click that and click on view, I can see that. And then I'm scrolling down now, and I see right off the bat, this is 121,000. I'm sorry, 121 million. That's total employment. So I'm going to go to Excel and type total employment in there. And that's really small. So let's get that bigger so you can see it. Now I'm going to go back to my American Fact Finder. And I'm going to scroll down. And let's say that I'm proposing, uh, I don't know, let's get into the fours. Three is manufacturing, can be kind of sticky. So let's say I want to be a used car dealer. That's 441120. 441120. So I see that in the US there are 138,058 people working at used car dealerships. I'm kind of surprised that number's not bigger, to be honest with you. So that's that. And then click back to my American Fact Finder. I'm going to jot this next code down. 441120. All right, that's the US. Now I'm going to scroll down until I get to my geography. And when I get to, you'll see in this left column it says United States, right? So I'm going to keep going until I find that geography I entered, which was Charleston here. I'm seeing the beginning of it, but I want the very top line. So I'm going to go back up and then scroll down to this. Total for all industry, there's about a quarter million people, 256, 192. That's how many people work in the Charleston, uh, South Carolina, and North Charleston metropolitan area. So that's that number, total employment in the region or in the county or whatever it is you're doing. And now I need one more number. So I'm going to go back here and find 441120. I'm scrolling down. I wonder how many people work in this industry in Charleston. Four four one one two zero four four one one two zero let me scroll to the right number. Be patient, make sure you get these numbers right. Four four one one two zero. Four four one one two zero used car dealers. So I got five hundred and sixteen. So I'm gonna come over here and type in five sixteen and just to make the formatting the same. So then here I'm gonna add a formula that just says five sixteen divided by that. And what we learn out of that, and this number is not too meaningful, but just so you understand it, that I'll put that in a percentage. There's 0.2 percent of the employment in Charleston is in used car dealership. Okay, then I calculate the similar number for the US, which is that, and I, I learned that that number is about 
0.11%. And then to get my location quotient, I divide my local ratio divided by my national ratio, and I get 176. Wow, there are a bundle of used car dealerships in Charleston, South Carolina. I would not want to open up a used car dealership there. 177%. So in other words, it's 1.77 times, almost double the number. So if a typical town needed 10 used car dealerships, then Charleston's going to have 20 if it was a typical town. It, it made me really nervous to try to compete, or I guess it would have 17 based on this ratio, but it made me really nervous if somebody proposed to open a new a used car dealership in Charleston because it looks like they got a bunch of them. They'd really have to justify why they thought they'd be successful. So that's how you calculate it, and that's how you interpret it. And uh, if you get, need any help, feel free to email me or call me, and I can be of assistance. Thank you.